everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we are back in Forza Horizon 4. This is the only the second episode I've made on Forza Horizon 4 so far. I've been having a little bit of issues recording Forza Horizon 4. So uh, hopefully today's video is going to be smooth. I mean, if you're watching it, then I've already edited and checked it and it is smooth. But uh, yeah, hopefully um, everything is going to go as planned. Today we're going to be unlocking a brand new car in Forza Horizon 4. And since the last time you saw me play Forza Horizon 4, I've leveled up quite a lot. You can see that I'm level 104. So um, I've been playing this game quite a bit, really enjoying it. And recently they have just added a brand new car to the game. And it's not just any car, it's a car from the brand new Cyberpunk 2077 game. And if you don't know what that game is, it's basically like GTA 5 but kind of set in the future. And you can drive cars around, you can go and shoot people, you can do all these kind of things that you can do in GTA 5. But it's kind of set in the future, it's a very futuristic game, and it's really cool actually. And some of the cars in that game are absolutely fantastic as well. And the people over at Cyberpunk have decided they want one of those cars to be in Forza Horizon 4. So we can go and unlock the brand new car, that's what we're going to be doing in today's episode. Taking a look at the new car, how you unlock it, and all the customization for it. And just having a little explore with it. We might go and do a race in it. So the first thing that we have to go and do is beat the driver tar in this race here. It's called the Night City Street Race and obviously Cyberpunk 2077 is set in Night City. That is the name of the city. So basically you have to go and beat the driver tar that is driving the Cyberpunk car and if you beat the driver tar then you get given the car as a reward. Now I will say, for those of you who are going to do this race for the first time, I've seen gameplay of this and I apologise that this video is coming out a bit later than everybody else, um, but I have learned that the driver tar is very quick in that car, it is a very grippy car, so I would set your difficulty one below what you'd normally play at. So I usually play above average, so I'm going to go for average, not really fussed about the bonus. Um, I just want to unlock the car. So we'll go with, with average, I'd say is good. And then we'll just go ahead and start the street race. There is the car on our right. Looks absolutely fabulous. But you can see straight off the bat it is a fast car. Yeah, we are really struggling to keep up with that car. It is just like flying down these streets. It takes the corners so quickly. I mean, it would help if I change gear, to be honest. Well, the driver tile's already crossed the line, so it doesn't look like we're going to be beating him in this race. And you can't unlock the car, obviously, until you beat him. So, yeah, we're going to come across the line in second place, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to go and do this race again. Okay, I've learnt from my mistakes. I'm not going to take the charger this time. It's a bit of a boat, I'm going to be honest. Um, I have upgraded it, but it is a bit of a boat. And it's not got that much power. It's not a great car in the corners, I'm going to be honest. So I'm going to choose something here that's a little bit better in the corners. Maybe something like my Fiat 124. That's a, that's a nice handling car. <laughs> It's grippy in the corners. It looks absolutely fabulous. Not that I don't like the Charger. I do love the Charger. But this thing's a nippy little car. Hopefully we should be able to beat it this time. And I'm just going to put the driver tire difficulty to new racer. Hopefully to give me a bit more of a chance. And we'll just see how it goes this time. I'm definitely closer this time than I was in the Charger. But I am struggling to make some of these corners. I don't know why. I don't really know what setup I've got on the Fiat here. I thought it was a pretty good one, but it seems to be sliding around quite a lot. I have a feeling it's on rally suspension. It feels a little bit wobbly. And also my driving is a bit poor. <laughs> Second time, we didn't beat it either. Right, I'm going to go and do this again. <laughs> I'll pick a better car, hopefully, that doesn't have um, 
some wobbly suspension. I mean, it is S1 class and I was in A class, so I'll try and pick something S1 class and we'll give it another go. Hopefully third time's the charm. Okay, third attempt. We've got an S1 class. We've got all-wheel drive here in the RS200. So hopefully this time we should be able to beat it. We are momentarily ahead. Big slide. But this thing is set up for street racing, so hopefully it should be a bit better. I've got the anti-roll bars on it, I've got all of the suspension set up, I've got the right tyres on it, and we've got all-wheel drive and quite a lot of horsepower, so hopefully. I mean, we are ahead this time, which is something. And there we go. Across the line in first position, I guess third time is the charm. There we go, a new car has been added to your garage, the 2058 Quadra Cyberpunk 2077 Quadra VTEC. Absolutely awesome car, let's get it out of the garage. Um, I can show you my collection a little bit in here. There it is, the Quadra VTEC. Yes, I would like it to be delivered to me. And then, oh my days. It's a funny looking car but I really like the look of it and it's fast as well jeez this thing is very fast it's very grippy in the corners as I smash into the front of a driver tar but yeah it's very grippy if you want a car that's grippy in S1 class go and unlock this thing all you have to do is update your game and beat the driver tar like I've just done and you unlock the car and it is a fantastic car. You don't really need to upgrade this thing. It's already pretty grippy in S1 class. It's pretty competitive. And it looks absolutely awesome. But let's go and take it to the garage. And see what customization we have available on this thing. Okay, we're over at the garage. Just before we go and customize it. I just want to take a little look around the car. In the Forza Vista. And we can go ahead and open up all the doors and check this out. Look how that door opens. That is absolutely awesome how that door opens. I mean, it's a little bit of a janky animation because it's, it's from a different game in Forza. So Forza's had to implement them that animation. But that is so cool. I want a car that has doors like that. Let's go ahead and explode the thing, see what we can open up. It is rear-engined, it appears. We've got a front trunk. It's a coupe, and there is the engine in the back. Not sure what engine we have in this thing. Um, but yeah, it looks absolutely awesome. And first, let's see if there's any engine swaps. There's no engine swaps. We can do a drive train, drive train swap. Um, we have all-wheel drive is standard, so it does come with all-wheel drive. You can convert to rear-wheel drive, and look how thick those rear tyres are. That is just absolutely insane. We can make them thicker as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep it all-wheel drive, obviously. Uh, it's just better. Um, we can change up the tyre compound. You can get the Horizon Race tyres. You can get Rally tyre compound or you can get drag tyres. I don't really know what build I want to go for on this. As it looks kind of like a drag car I guess we'll go for a drag build. Um, you can change the wheels if you want to so you can put all the normal wheels on but these wheels just kind of match the car so I'm just going to leave those on there. We can go for a bit of wheel spacing um, if you want a bit more poke but I think it looks pretty good how it is. Um, we've got transmission upgrades and diff upgrades we'll go ahead and slap those on there we've got all the normal brakes um, in suspension we can well we've got the stock we can go for race suspension you can go for rally suspension so you can go for like an off-road rally build if you want to not so sure I'd like to go off-road rallying in this but you could and we also have drift suspension if you want to build a drift car. I'm just going to go race suspension. We'll slap on the anti-roll bars. Oops. There we go. And then in the engine options, we've got all the normal engine options. It has a twin turbo as standard. 
you can go ahead and upgrade that to the race twin turbo and you can see that adds a lot a lot of horsepower just slapping on the race twin turbo we go basically double our horsepower so i think we'll go ahead and do that um but let's go ahead and um have a look what we've got in the paint options now so we have got some advanced painting options paint group one is going to be all of the silver you can see there that's changing that's what that's going to be like and then paint group two is going to change all of that gold accenting around the car so it's going to change that bit down there on the front we've got the bit on the side and it also changes that venting bit on the side as well and that little bit there behind the rear tire it's going to change the little strip there on the bonnet didn't notice that um, it's going to change the wing mirrors and also that little area on the back window there so not really sure what kind of color i want to go for in this not too keen on the gold um, i'm thinking maybe maybe keeping that color and then just changing up that secondary color to something a little bit funky maybe not orange um maybe the yellow because i mean cyberpunk has like yellow writing it's kind of like silver and yellow writing um you can go ahead and change up the hood so you can change that whole area or you can change just that little area in there so you can change that separately if you want to i'm happy with it how it is again you can change up the mirrors which is going to be the same you can change up the spoiler so it does have a spoiler on the back i think we'll go ahead and match the spoiler with that yellow i think that looks quite cool the tire options quite a few different options to paint the wheels um, it is going to change the back so let me just zoom out so you can see that a bit better so uh, maybe we'll match that like yellow i guess we're going for a very yellow looking build here um, let me zoom out again maybe we'll set that as yellow and we'll set that just as normal yeah that looks a little bit better and then you can change the inner barrel and outer lip and then we'll go for some blacked out windows in there just to give it a bit more of a mean look and then we'll save that car well let's take it now to the drag strip and see what speed we can get on the speed trap because i think this is going to be a pretty fast car to be honest okay in a one and two and three the first gear is very short well let's just see what we can get and there we go what did we get 168 miles an hour not the fastest car i've taken down the drag strip but definitely one of the coolest an absolutely awesome car the quadra vtec 2077 cyber punk car i can't even remember what this thing's cool called because it's just absolutely fantastic if you haven't got this car already go and unlock it i've shown you how to do it you don't have to do anything else to it and it's got some awesome customization but that's going to do it for today's video i hope you have all enjoyed watching thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video